for the triazyl test, so this is for the consolidated drain. Consolidated drain. Alright, so for the equipment of triazyl test, so basically for all types of triazyl test, we'll have this component. Alright, so you will have the cell pressure transducer here. You will have the pore pressure transducer and also you will have the back pressure transducer. The LVDT to record the replacement and the probing beam for the loading. Alright, so again, this is the schematic diagram and as you can see the triazole cell, the glass uh, triazole cell. This is for the sample preparation. So we will uh, put the sample uh, by using this small and the membrane will attach to the small. And then this is again the sample of preparations. So the sample will be placed in the membrane here. Okay, so make sure that the mold will hold the membrane. Okay, and the sample will put inside the membrane. As you can see here, this is how it will look like. Alright. And this is for the fine soil. Okay, this is for the fine soil. It's actually already from from the container, from the sampler. So we just trim uh, based on the size of the triazol test that we need to conduct. Okay, and don't forget to put it into the membrane rough, uh, to cover the sample with the membrane. Yeah. Okay, now you, uh, the, the schematic diagram, okay, uh, once your sample is ready, all the equipment, all the transducer, for the pore water pressure, cell pressure, and back pressure, will connect to the uh, data acquisition unit and control system. So all the data along the procedure of the triazole test will be recorded in the uh, control system here. Okay, so basically there are four stages in conducting triazole test. So you will have the sample preparation stage, which is the sample in the cylindrical shape with the ratios of size and diameter is 1 to 2. And then you have the saturation stage. And then we'll have the consolidation stage to investigate the stress history and the compression behavior. And the last stage is the shearing stage, which is to investigate the failure behavior. Alright, so this is how it looks like. Okay, you will have the sigma C or also known as the sigma 3. So you need to remember this, okay, this term and yeah, the cell pressure that normally use symbol is sigma 3. And then you will also have the sigma 1, which is the axial stress. So the axial stress here is actually is the combinations of the cell pressure or the sigma 3 plus with the sigma D. Okay. And then you will also have the deviation to stress. Okay, for the loading stage, you will have the deviation to stress or the sigma D here. All right, so you need to always remember this term, which is sigma 3, sigma 1, and sigma D. Okay, so for this week, we will look at the consolidated drain or the CD test. Or sometimes also refer as a CID test, consolidated isotropically drain triazyl test. So for the sample preparation, all right, so this is the common three size of the sample in cylindrical shape. The commonly used is 38 mm times with the 76 mm of uh, height of the sample. Okay, and then we have the saturation stage. Okay, so the purpose of the saturation stage is to wet the sample until the sample fully saturated. It's actually try to replicate the conditions of sample at the soil at the site. Alright, so what will happen in the saturation stage? So we need to fill up the cylinder cell. This is the cell cylinder, glass cell cylinder with the distilled water. Alright, so make sure that your sample is already inside the cell cylinder. And then we need to allow water to flow into the specimen through the back pressure line. So we have the back pressure here. Alright, so we will allow water to flow within the soil sample. Alright, so water will slowly infiltrate in this sample. So this saturation stage will take longer time because we need to allow water to infiltrate slowly from the top layer till to the bottom layer. 
So we need to wait until the sample to be fully saturated or the B value is more or equal to 0 0.95. So the B is the scam tempo pressure parameter. Actually, once the this set of the so test connected to this control systems or the data logger, so that system will uh, guide us when the when the water or the sample is fully saturated by showing the constant graph of the uh, water. All right. So once the graph show the constant value of B value, the constant value of the B value, or it's around. 0 0.95 so it consider that the sample is fully set to better then we can proceed to the next stage the next stage is the consolidation stage so the purpose of the consolidation is to strengthen the soil which is, is actually uh, like the process of the compression so to 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 ensure this one so we need to apply the sigma 3 just now so sigma 3 is the cell pressure Isotropically, we apply the sigma 3 isotropically. What is the meaning of the isotropically? It's actually we apply uh, all around the sample, okay, all around the sample here, okay, by similar, by the same value, all direction will receive the same value of sigma 3 isotropically. All around the sample will receive the sigma 3 isotropically similar same value in all direction all right okay and to ensure that consolidation will occur or will happen we need to open the valve so here at the pore pressure okay so we need to open the drainage valve here because we need to allow water to flowing out okay as i mentioned this result test is to replicate uh, the history or the behavior of soil at site. So just now we make it or uh, saturate the sample full with water and then what will happen when we apply the load to the sample and then uh, we compress the soil till the water flowing out completely. Okay. So to again to ensure that the consolidation stage uh, will uh, happen, make sure that the drainage valve is open. If you close the drainage valve, it akan jadi unconsolidation. Yeah, consolidation tak akan berlaku if the drainage valve is closed. So okay, how long? We need to wait for the consolidation stage. So during the consolidation stage, the progress of pore water pressure at as below means that if you can see here through this graph, U versus with time. So initially, U at the beginning of the consolidation at a certain value because uh, that sample was proceed with the consolidation after the saturation. So when the sample is saturated, there are some amount of water in the sample. So at the beginning, there is a some value of the uh, U here. So once we apply the sigma 3 and then the process will slowly uh, Consolidate the sample and then you will have at the end of the day, at the end of the consolidation stage, you will have the constant value of U. Or sometimes you will have the U equal to zero. So it's indicate that the sample is fully consolidated. Alright, so once you have the U constant, okay, at the time here, so there is no water flowing out and also when if u equal to zero, so it will indicate that the sample already fully consolidated. Okay, now once it's fully consolidated, we can proceed with the shearing stage to investigate the failure envelope. So in this st stage, we need to apply sigma d or deviate the stress. So in the consolidation, we have the sigma 3 and during the shearing, we will increase Exactly the sigma d. So now what we have at the axial stress is the sigma 3 plus sigma d. So it's equivalent to sigma 1. So you will increase the sigma d until the sample fail. And don't forget, so this, because this is the CD test, C, C, uh, C refer to the consolidation. And D here refer to the shearing stage, whether it is drained or undrained. 
If it is D, D refer to drain. If it is U, U refer to un drain. So in this case, it's drain. So in order to drain out the water, the drainage valve at the pore pressure uh, transducer here, at the pore pressure line here, we need to open the valve. Alright, we need to keep open the valve during shearing stage so the water will keep flowing out when you apply the sigma D. Okay, then what will happen to the U? Since beginning of the shearing, the value of U uh, already minimum value or zero. So when you keep open the valve and then when you apply the sigma D, so the the value of E will keep reducing or will remain zero till the end of the sample fail. Okay, so means that there is no generations of excess pore water pressure. There is no pore water pressure. Alright, so for the consolidated drain uh, Right, so test normally at the end, the U will equal to zero. There is no U recorded because there is no generation of pore water pressure. Because we keep open the drainage valve from the consolidation and then continue from the shearing stage. We will already record the sigma 3 and sigma D. From this sigma 3 and sigma D, we will have the sigma 1. Alright. So, and again, so since this is the consolidated drain test and u will equal to zero, means that at the end, you will have the effective stress analysis. Why? Because the, the sigma prime will equivalent to sigma minus u. When u equal to zero, so you will have sigma prime will equivalent to sigma. So, the sigma 3 here will equivalent to sigma 3 prime and sigma 1 will equivalent to sigma 1 prime. And not to sigma d. Sigma d, there is no sigma d prime. Only sigma 3 and sigma 1. Okay, so this is the mode of shear failure in the track cell test. And then, as I mentioned, that from the CD test or from the consolidated drain, you will have the effective stress failure. Envelope. Alright, so sigma 3 will equivalent to sigma 3 prime. 